It's time to begin this new stage. For the hostages to come home, for Israel to be secure, for the suffering to stop. It's time for this war to end. For the day after to begin. This new proposal has three phases. Three. The first phase would last for six weeks. Here's what it would include. A full and complete ceasefire. A withdrawal of Israeli forces from all populated areas of Gaza. Release of a number of hostages, including women, the elderly, the wounded, in exchange for release of hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. There are American hostages who would be released at this stage, and we want them home. Additional some remains of hostages who have been killed would be returned to their families, bringing some degree of closure to that terrible grief. Palestinians, civilians would return to their homes and neighborhoods in all areas of Gaza, including in the north. Humanitarian assistance would surge, with 600 trucks carrying aid into Gaza every single day. With the ceasefire, that aid could be safely and effectively distributed to all who need it. Hundreds of thousands of temporary shelters, including housing units, would be delivered by the international community. All that and more would begin immediately. During the six weeks of, of phase one, Israel and Hamas would negotiate the necessary arrangements to get to phase two, which is a permanent end to hostilities. Now, I'll be straight with you. There are a number of details to negotiate to move from phase one to phase two. Israel will want to make sure its interests are protected. But the proposal says if the negotiations take longer than six weeks for phase one, the ceasefire will still continue as long as negotiations continue. Then phase two would be an exchange for the release of all remaining living hostages, including male soldiers. Israeli forces would withdraw from Gaza. And as long as the mosque lives up to its commitments, a temporary ceasefire would become, in the words of the, proposed, the Israeli proposal, the cessation of hostilities permanently, end of quote. Cessation of hostilities permanently. Finally, in phase three, a major reconstruction plan for, Ga for Gaza would, would commence. And any final remains of hostages who have been killed would be returned to their families. That's the offer that's now on the table. And what we've been asking for is what we need. The people of Israel should know they can make this offer without any further risk to their own security because They've devastated Hamas form, uh, forces over the past eight months. At this point, Hamas no longer is capable of carrying out another October 7th. It's one of the Israelis' main objectives in this war, and quite frankly, a righteous one. This is truly a decisive moment. Israel has made their proposal. Hamas says it wants a ceasefire. This deal is an opportunity to prove whether they really mean it. Hamas needs to take the deal. For months, people all over the world have called for ceasefire. Now it's time to raise your voices and demand that Hamas come to the table, agrees to this deal, and ends this war that they began.